This is member supported television in Boston, WGBX TV channel 44, Boston. And it is 7 half and an actual bit support for this Friday, December 21st, 1984. Good evening, my name is Peter Wiggins. It is what's happening. The Federal Reserve Board cut its discount rate by half a point to 8% at its lowest level in more than six years. The Fed said it was acting to bring the rate into alignment with money market rates. The statement also suggested that the Fed was seeking faster growth of money supply and some decline in the value of the dollar against the other currencies. Except one month ago, the board had cut the rate to 8.5%. Durable goods order rose to 8.3% in November, the biggest gain since September 1980. More than half the increase was attributed to a doubling in the volatile military orders category. But even with the military surge taken out, orders still rose 3.3%. A rate that is considered healthy and certainly far better than in recent months. The White House said that the figures provide a bright horizon for next year's economy. The Treasury is objected to a new national sales tax board detailed in a report that said the advantages of the tax did not justify its costs, particularly if those aim were merely to reduce the reliance on the income tax. The report said that enforcing a value added tax would require an additional 20,000 workers and cost about $700 million annually. The chairman and chief executive of the Western Union resigned. Suddenly, T. Rowan Burner departure means that the Trouble Communications Company is undergoing their third change with its top post in less than a year. Robert S. Levenfall, a board member, was named to replace Mr. Burner. A merger that would create the ninth largest accounting firm has been tentatively agreed upon. Top partners at Alexander Grant and Company, the nation's 11th largest accounting firm, and Fox and Company, the 13th largest, said that they intended to put the proposal to a vote by respective boards and partnerships next month. Tidewater Incorporated received a takeover offer with a minimum value of $391.4 million from an investor group led by Erden L. Jacobs of the Minneapolis Financer. It, it, it's almost like a pool cue. You have to slide that top yeah. hand up. OPEC ministers adjourned with an agreement in principle to establish a monitoring system to enforce production ceilings. Oil traders and industry officials expressed skepticism about the plan, with one calling it a propaganda intended to hide the dissension among OPEC members and ministers postponed today were recommend being Thursday dealing with the issue of the differential in prices between light and heavy crude oils. Stock prices fell moderately again. The Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 4.31 points to its problem expanded at 11.3 million shares from 93.2 million of the day before. For the week, the key index gained 23.07 points thanks to Tuesday's surge of almost 35 points. Bond prices were virtually unchanged unlike less of erratic pre holiday trading at the Treasury adoption rates and three month and six month Treasury bills were at the lowest level since the early months of 1983. Dollar was mixed in left project pre holiday trading and the pound recovered a bit from its record low. Gold advanced after sliding recently and was quoted $3.11.25 an ounce in late New York trading up $3.75 from Thursday. Copper feature prices fell to new load and weight with late selling. NASA has received patents for a teaser pads to place protective space shuttle tiles during flights that laser sensor that detected the leakage of methane gas in the method for sending excess power from a solar energy unit to electric utility. Insurance policies filled with caps and Medicare coverage are now grown. More important, reflecting a higher deductible and insurance payments that take the effect in the Medicare program on January 1st. Analysts recommend shopping around the best deals with so-called Medicare gap coverage. That's me for the now for this Friday, December 21st, 1984. Peace and have a good night, and I'll see you on Monday. Have a good weekend.